Hi everyone, it's B and I'm back again with another video. I am sorry that I'm in the same outfit as the last two videos. It's still the same day I'm filming, so we kind of are just filming because today is a good filming day and I'm not the type of person to like change for videos. But anyways, today I will be uh, showing you guys a cage store. The cage is not finished completely. I hope to add another level to it. But I thought I'd show you it so far. Maybe this will be like part one and the next one will be part two. Because I might add the second level tomorrow, but I don't know yet. So, yeah. That is the plans and the ideas. Um, the piggies are checking it out right now. So, yeah. Um, let's go look at that. It's pretty nice so far. Plan. Let's go. Alright, guys. Well, let me show you where the cage is. It's in my room. It's up on my dresser. It's completely fit to my dresser. So it only, it can't move, or and it was a popcorn, I'm <gasps> popcorn, popcorn, I think that was a popcorn, I don't really know what that was, um, but yeah, so here's the outside, I did the whole thing, um, except for my dad did staple it down, but I did the whole thing, you can see some of the flooring on the bottom, so because I didn't want the pee to be able to soak into the wood, which would then cause like, you know, diseases and stuff, and like, it would just spread illnesses I decided to put some tiles down that you could wipe off um, but I hand sawed each of these to be the right length some of them are not so they have an add-on um, but I painted the front I hope to get decorative tape tomorrow to put in front of it but um, right now they are kind of like miscellaneous I am making them so some but I will never have a full set with like pee pads and such because this is the full blanket <laughs> pretty much and it wasn't even the right length it was my fault um it was gonna be the right length so this one is not the right length uh or width i mean but it does almost fit this is a cage that's 21 by 51 i think 21 by 50 which i know i'm lacking about eight inches off but i'm gonna add a second level with a hide on it so that way they can have, so one of their hides, probably the igloo, is going to go up on it. That way they can have room to like, you know, run around more. There is their hay uh, bags. I made those. They're making a mess. I think I might try to put them on the front. That way they're higher up so they can't make such a big mess. Um, their water bottles are right here. And I put their food in the same areas. I thought it would be a good idea to put those there. Right now they're kind of like... I'm starting them on a diet to give them one eighth of a cup of food a day. So yeah, then here's this little chew toy that they haven't really, they're brand new so they haven't been chewed yet. There's a chew toy back there. I made this, it's kind of like a little sack thing but I don't think they can figure it out so I'm going to have to figure out a way to keep it open for them to look at because <laughs> I don't think I made it right. <laughs> but uh, then I got them a bendy bridge to run through and just have fun in, little bed. She's cute. <laughs> then I got them a little pencil chew. I'm hoping to redirect this one's chewing on a water bottle to chewing on the wood toys, which there's another one over here. It's a kebab or whatever. Um, then I made them that little couch. There's their igloo uh, and then their little house. I've had that house forever. Uh, but yeah, I'm trying to cover up the flooring. I am gonna make them another one tonight, so I might switch it out. Hello. So yeah. And then I have just some fairy lights up here. Then there's Supernatural poster. Hello, Lord and Savior. Okay, I'm sorry. That was weird. Uh, I plan to put their names somewhere too. Um, so it's not completely done. Also, I plan on putting the balcony kind of lower. Um, that way it can counteract as like a hide that they can run through. And um, so, you know, they can't get to the fairy lights or anything. Uh, that way it's you know, safe. So there will be a part two. It might be uploaded like maybe tomorrow, probably Wednesday. Um, <laughs> they are doing really well uh, in it so far. I really cannot wait to get these hides out of the way so they have even more space. Um, I want to give them the most space that I can. So pretty much the cages they went from were, well, Daisy went from a Katie all by herself, which was pretty depressing. Uh, Pip went from a Katie with another guinea pig nibbles to, which was my fault, which, uh, to, she went from that 
to a, what a Katie connected to one by a tube. I need to trim her nails again. I really need to start getting on the late. I, I'm just so terrible at that. Okay. Uh, a Katie with a tube connected to it. Then she, hello adorable. Then she went to a bin cage, which was definitely not enough space. And then I tried the fleece with it and it was just a mess because they didn't have enough space. Okay, not the point. I'm gonna, just gonna move on. Then they went to a Kate, two Katie's connected with a ramp. I don't like that because then they don't have room to run. And they went from, to this. And I may upgrade them in the future. I don't know yet. So yeah, that is the piggies. Cage. I know it's pretty fast. I already need to pick up some poops. Uh, I hope to be able to start doing their cake spot cleaning in the morning. I have to wake up earlier for school then, but that's fine. Um, <laughs> it was cute. Uh, and then in the evening, or after I walk home from school. Okay, I get it, you don't wanna be seen. Um, also question, if you have had guinea pigs, is it okay that the bottoms of their feet are red? I don't want them to get bumblefoot, but like the bottoms are red, like the heels, and I don't know if that's just like from walking on them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I still need to trim her nails. It's just like, see, you see the red part? I hope that's safe, I don't really know. I need to trim her nails too, but she's super skittish. She was never handled um, <laughs> by her other owners, so her other, she's had, I'm her third owner. Not the point. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> I love seeing Daisy acting a bit happier because she uh, was extremely skittish, but now that I'm just sitting here talking, moving, she's pretty pretty chill. So yeah, uh, I guess that's the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoy. If you did not, then you should not have watched up till then. Anyways, um, yeah, bye.